Students are the main reason for the closure as the council intend to make Nottingham Trent University's city campus feel more like a place for students rather than a thoroughfare for traffic. Joe Southall Saunders, the president of the Students' Union, has the students' interests in mind when it comes to university life. I think it will massively affect the university. Um, we've got a lot of university buildings and the Students' Union that are in such close parameters and over 2,000 students that live in halls. So having a closure will allow the pedestrianisation and it will really change the flow of traffic that we have around the campus. Each campus at Nottingham Trent University is distinctly different due greatly to their location and the subjects they offer. The city campus has been improved many times to ensure a distinct student environment. If we look at, at the three campuses that NTU has, Brackenhurst and Clifton are absolutely different compared to the city campus, and rightly so, they've got a different campus feel. Um, so it'll be really interesting of how the city campus develops because it's very difficult to get a campus feeling within a city, like you rightly say, there's traffic going through, we've got the trams, so it will be really, really interesting and I think it will really benefit students. The closure of Shakespeare Street will be enforced after the redesigning work of the new Students' Union has finished. It will be closed from Goldsmith Street to the end of the Students' Union and has been put in place to promote student safety around the campus. I think it's excellent that they're deciding to close it off. I think for students it's better for health and safety, especially at night. Um, I think it's a good idea. Um, it's quite a dangerous place at the moment. As long as the fire engines can get out and um, I think there's plenty of parking and other um, streets open in Nottingham so it would be nice to have a more pedestrianised place. I think the road being closed will make it feel more like a university campus. I don't think it will affect drivers too much because they're leaving the other routes open so you'll still be able to get round. Well, I don't think that the Shakespeare closure has been that disruptive to a lot of people. There's not a lot of traffic that goes down there. The council have run a similar scheme on Station Street during the summer of this year and managed to acquire over £500,000 from filing vehicles. Ian Nash, a representative from Nottingham City Council, is overseeing the closure of Shakespeare Street. The restriction will come into force from 7am to 7pm uh, every day of the week uh, and this is obviously to try and improve safety for students. So we want to actually try and reduce the impact of mechanically propelled versus pedestrian. Okay. What types of vehicle will be uh, excluded from the rule? The only vehicles that are exempt would be obviously emergency vehicles, buses and taxis. With the uh, emphasis on the fining of £60 when the restrictions are in place, uh, how would you enforce that? Um, the authority would look to actually force the prohibition of driving with the use of what is now classed as an AMPR camera. Basically what that does, it has a list of exempted vehicles built inside the camera. Anything that it picks up that is not on that list, it would actually create an evidence pack. And obviously when it's then reviewed by officers here at Nottingham City Council, uh, if they believe a contravention has occurred, then obviously a penalty charge will be sent out.